Now, with the only tri-state forecast that's independently certified most accurate, here's meteorologist Jennifer Schaaf. Well, it's a great start to our Friday morning. I thought we'd start with the time lapse from 6 o'clock this morning, about an hour before our sunrise. We had a veil of high clouds overhead, and then we ended up with a little bit of fog on the east side. So you'll see both of those elements as the clouds were moving out, but the fog lingered until about 8.30 this morning. Since then, the fog lifting out and a few cumulus clouds here into our midday. But it has been a great start. Temperatures this morning, we dropped off to 57, the official low temperature. Some of our weather bug network locations, 51 and 52 degrees. So a cool start and now a comfortable midday. Here's a look at our city cam downtown with the quiet conditions and the sunshine. The temperature is climbing pretty quickly already back to 74. But look at that dew point. We talk about anything in the 50s this time of year to be very comfortable. Very unusual to see the dew point all the way down at 49 here in late August. The winds are calm and that dry air in place with a light wind. And plenty of sunshine. Temperatures for the region, everyone mid 70s right now, a couple of spots low 70s, but we're basically all into the 70s. We will top out this afternoon. A little variation on northern counties, maybe a degree or two cooler than our southern counties, but everyone into the upper 70s for the afternoon. Dry conditions on the WLWT radar. It will stay dry not only today, but as we start off our weekend as well. The wide view on the satellite and radar showing there is some cloud cover to our south and just some high, thin clouds kind of striped over. Overhead for the Ohio River Valley, not blocking any of the sunshine though, very high and thin. Notice across the Midwest we have quiet conditions. So we will continue into our weekend with the dry weather thanks to a large area of high pressure. It's been building in since yesterday. When it first started arriving yesterday, we were still having the gradient in our pressure, and so we had those stronger winds. Now that we're right underneath the high pressure, the winds are calm to light throughout the day today. Sunshine expected. That high pressure is working its way to the northeast. It's going to be up over Lake Erie by tomorrow morning, and we'll start to see a little bit more of an easterly component to our wind on Saturday coming out of that clockwise rotation around the high pressure. So we'll probably see a few more clouds around tomorrow. That dew point will start to climb but still be comfortable. We have quiet conditions for our Saturday, still dry, and then eventually more of a south wind on the backside of all this heading into Sunday. That's when we start to note the dew point climbing, more clouds around. Our next weather maker is a cold front coming out of the Plains. It's not going to get here until Sunday evening. With it, some thunderstorms possible. And at this point, the Storm Prediction Center to our west, a marginal risk. And that's with the daytime heating and into the early part of the evening. A stray strong thunderstorm or two. They should be fizzling by the time they get here for us. It looks like the timing right now after 8 and 9 o'clock on Sunday evening. So your day forecast looks dry. And then we'll see quieter conditions heading into our late part of the overnight. So pretty limited chance there in our late Sunday. 79 degrees for a high temperature. Temperature today, 56, another cool overnight. Slightly warmer tomorrow, 82. We'll stay warm for Sunday ahead of that front, 84. Cold front comes through, some evening showers and storms. And then behind it, a nice stretch of sunshine and 70s as dry weather returns next week.